100 bucks says I get this ball in that hole in one shot. Okay, Tiger, I'll take that bet. Wait a minute. Welcome to the Junkyard Wars Finals. The winner of today's challenge is gonna walk away with this heavy metal trophy. But because it's the finals, there'll be no playing around for our two above par teams. That is, if they want to drive themselves to victory. Okay, you've guessed it, it's golf. But not just ordinary golf, we are talking jumbo junkyard golf. To win the series, the teams must create off-road golf playing vehicles that can face up to our tricky three-hole course. Their machines will have to pitch and putt a giant golf ball into supersized holes while navigating this grueling course, which features unsafe sand traps and unforgiving roughs in as few strokes and as fast as possible. Let's meet the finalists. On the green, it's the Jet Doctors, three aircraft technicians who make sure your planes stay in the air. My name is Kirk Wester. Hi, I'm Darren Tamana. Everybody calls me Tama. Hi, I'm Jeff Higginbotham. Hands down, we're going to annihilate the competition. We're the Jet Doctors! Yeah! <laughs> in the semifinals, these guys cross the finish line first in their surf rescue racer. And helping the Jet Doctors today is expert Kimrick Smith. Excellent. He's part of an art troupe called People Hater and quite comfortable making unorthodox machines. In blue, the High Flyers are a team of airplane aficionados led by North Dakota's former governor. Hi, I'm Ed, team captain of the High Flyers. My teammates are Rolf and Bob. We are the High Flyers. They launch themselves through to the championship by whipping a washing machine sky high. And helping the High Flyers today, it's expert Sean Dines. He restored a gas engine at the age of 10 and, more recently, helped invent a robot that tests the accuracy of golf clubs. These teams are Tiger Woods' worst nightmare. Jet Doctors! Yeah! High Flyers! Yes! Teams, welcome back to the junkyard. This is your third trip here. So this time, it's no more Mr. Nice Guy. We want you to make machines to play a round of off-road golf on our very tricky Junkyard Wars course. Now, you will need to build fast and sturdy all-terrain vehicles armed with contraptions to hit this, our special Junkyard Golf Ball. All right, teams, the 19th hole is only 10 hours away. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Okay, boy, uh, we're gonna have to build something pretty interesting here. Uh, we're glad to have you with us, Sean. I hope right. you know something about this. Uh, you got any ideas for us? Well, uh, what I'm thinking, we'll have some kind of car chassis, some kind of drive shaft coming out here with an arm on it to hit the ball. What about building something you can do manually? Ooh, well, just for a backup? Some lever you pull with a spring on it. Or... This engine, you know, like 40, 50 horsepower, we'll have a, should have enough to hit the ball. The High Flyers plan calls for a big vehicle giving them enough room to attach an extra engine. This second motor will power an additional axle with a huge homemade golf club attached to the end of it. When they rev the engine, the club will spin around and smack their golf ball. They'll also add a manual putter. But if they don't have enough power, they'll fall flat on the fairway. An all-terrain golf playing machine. Yeah, tell, tell us what you have in mind for well, us here. What we got here for the pitching device, a car tire, and on the top we have a chute that feeds the ball, and it will actually work a lot like a tennis ball machine. The, this will all be mounted onto the side of our vehicle. The Jet Doctors are taking a radical approach. They hope to find a 4x4 vehicle, rip off the doors, and stick a motorized wheel off of the side. They'll surround it with a metal track that should put their golf ball in direct contact with the spinning wheel, creating a quick-rig pitching machine. 
There's a no hands rule, so they'll try to put the ball in the hopper with a makeshift grappling claw. Just like the blue team, they plan to make a manual putter for the shorter shots. We need to get the big items in here. We need a tire made into a drum is actually going to be what we're going to run the belt around. Bike parts. I figure a bike cable to actually open and close the claw, just a bike crank to crank it up and down. We need a differential, motorcycle engine. Obviously, we need some kind of an all-terrain vehicle. Why don't we go out there, get that stuff and get going, and um, let's go. Let's go out there and get it, guys. All right, sounds good. This is our last one. The finals, high flyers. <laughs> It's the last challenge of the season, and the teams know the junkyard rules. Only the two scavengers from each team are allowed into the yard, while the captain and the expert must stay in the bay. So it all comes down to this. The finals. I love it. This is going to be great. Two great teams here today. Yeah. I'm figuring the high flyers are going to have an advantage. I mean, he's a former governor. They look like golfers, right? Yeah. They don't know how to play at all. <laughs> Never picked up a club. They don't know from Tiger, okay? So it'll be interesting because a couple of the Jet Doctors are golfers. I'm wondering if they're going to have any sort of advantage because they understand the principles of the kinds of hits you need to play golf. I think you're completely wrong. I think it's playing golf will have absolutely nothing to do with it. Rolf. Yes. In the junkyard for the third time. Third time. How far did you think you'd get? Man, I had no idea. In fact, we've talked about that several times and said, you know, is this what you imagined when we sent in the application? How strongly do you guys want to win? Very. You didn't come here from North Dakota to lose. We found the uh, van. What do you think of the high flyers? They look pretty good guys. Uh, have a lot of years of experience. Uh, a little gray hair going. Former governor, you know. That's what I heard. <laughs> What have you found, my man? Right. High Flyer Rolf has spotted a Jeep that might make the cut. Well, we have a vehicle here. Uh, if you guys think it looks good, it'd be a good way to start it. Jeff, go ahead, Jeff. Captain Kirk wants Jeff to jump to warp speed. Hey, Jeff, we're falling a little behind. We're going to have to give it a little more. I'm giving it all she's got, Captain. More power. So both teams have teed off and are taking their first shots at finding junk. Who will stay on the fairway and who will be out of bounds? Stay tuned and find out. Oh, sorry. We did all the work so you get to have all the fun. Presenting the Aqua Tracks from Honda, the only all four stroke lineup of personal watercraft in the world, including the brand new turbocharged two seater, the R12X. Advanced four stroke technology means high performance and low pollution. So the water stays clean of man, and so does the air. It's just what you'd expect from Honda. PR performance. To find a dealer near you, visit Honda.com. Stop. I'm not kidding. It's cool. It's science. Oh, that's not cool. Presenting Docker shirts with stain defender. Don't be the one without it. Get in the zone. Auto zone. If you're driving around with worn-out brake pads on your car, that's dangerous. Get to AutoZone for a new set of brakes today. Get in the zone. AutoZone. Can I write a check? Yo. 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 Can I write a check? Yo. 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 Can I write a check? Yo. Next time, use the Visa check card instead of checks. It'll get you in, out, and on with life. Yo. Gee. Yo, gee. Yo. Listerine pocket pack strips have the power to destroy over 99% of germs. To give you an incredible clean mouth feeling. Listerine pocket packs. Kill the germs. Feel the clean. On the next While You Were Out, Kelsey sends her parents to Vegas so she can bring Hawaii into their bedroom. <laughs> then, Robin gets a backyard makeover that's straight out of Africa. Jolly good show. <laughs> While You Were Out, Friday at 8, only on TLC. With Rivals New... Real people, real results in six weeks. 
I'm a whole new person. In just six weeks, I lost 20 pounds, which is just fantastic. I think I lost five inches around my tummy. In six weeks, I lost 19 and a half pounds. Call now to get a free video that tells you all about the home gym that guarantees real results for real people just like you, Bowflex. Working out with Bowflex was fun. I was able to transition from one exercise to another very seamlessly. All it takes is one simple workout, 20 minutes, three times a week. I like the leg curls. You can just really feel you're working the backs of your legs. Everything has surprised me. The way I look, the way I feel. I feel like I could take on the world, you know, grr. Real people, real results, real Bowflex. Call 1-800-931-1800 to get your free video and brochure and check out the entire Bowflex lineup. That's 1-800-931-1800. Down, the human body doesn't stand a chance. If you want to pay a visit to the ocean floor, you better suit up. Get into the latest in cutting edge deep sea exploration when extreme machines goes underwater. From pressure suits that let us go deeper than we've ever gone before to submarines that move like sports cars. Dive in to extreme machines next Wednesday at 8 only on TLC. Welcome back to the Junkyard Wars Finals, where both teams are busy in the junkyard looking for just the right parts for their automatic off-road golfing machines. The green jet doctors and the blue high flyers are designing two completely different machines to get their hands on this championship trophy. The jet doctors are going with a golf ball pitching machine. Insert that in the vehicle and weld it into place. The high flyers are putting together a motorized swinging club, and they've come across an old Jeep for the foundation. Let's bring it in and get hopping on this machine. Oh, man, they got the Jeep. I wish my team would have gotten that Jeep. The jet doctors aren't as lucky. Got some flat tires, but we'll, we'll tr check it out. They've located a messed up minivan. The van will be good. Bring it in here. Wrangling this wreck means more than putting their weight into it. It just won't budge. Oh boy, here we go again. Another difficult uh, vehicle to get inside the bay. High Flyer Rolf is hunting for a motor for their golf machine. You know, if you could find some kind of a quad or a tri-wheeler or something that has handlebars, something like that, we could build a pretty nifty machine here, I think. You want fries with that? <laughs> but Bob may have already filled this to-go order. Appear to have found something pretty neat. Uh, it, it appears to have the clutch uh, hooked up. It's got the sprocket, the chain still on it. You guys sound like you're working magic out there in the junkyard. That's exactly what we need. Hey, do you need some help out there to get that van moving? You were just spinning tires. The Junkyard Wars bylaws clearly state that if two can't move it, a team effort is acceptable. But what's holding them up? Is it the three flat tires? A bad transmission? Will they have to rebuild the entire engine? Hold on, it's in park. <laughs> Hold on. You guys had it in park. <laughs> is it in neutral? That's right now. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. <laughs> okay, we've got to tell you guys about our new plan. And here's what we're thinking. Why not build our driving mechanism device out here in front. Everything's, everything's kind of flimsy back there. This is nice and solid. We're going to turn this baby around. Oh, cool. Hi, Hello, Flyers. Good morning. morning. Did I hear correctly, though, you're going to have two engines? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, Why? you did. We're going to take this vehicle as our, as our terrain vehicle, and we're going to take that motorcycle engine over there and build another contraption with an arm that will actually hit that huge golf ball, hopefully lots of yards that way. With Ed's new plan, they'll try to attach a motorcycle engine to the front end of their junkyard Jeep and hook its chain drive up to another axle. With a large metal golf club welded to the hub, they'll cock the arm back, rev up the extra engine, release the brake, and let her fly. They'll also need a man-powered putter, so this means their golfer will have to sit on the hood and keep from falling off. The Jet Doctor's minivan is flat out flat. This tire is completely wasted. We're going to need a replacement. Why such a big vehicle? Like We've got a lot of room to put our mechanisms on the side of the vehicle for the actual shooting of the ball, okay. and the putting, and all of that. Explain the mechanism that you're going to use. I'm going to allow the expert to do that. What we're using is something that's actually a lot like what's used for pitching balls for uh, tennis players. 
The Jet Doctors want to modify their minivan and put a spinning wheel in place of the sliding door, powered by an extra motor. They'll try to construct a chute to put the ball in direct contact with the wheel, launching it out of the device. They'll also need a manual club for putting and a way to get the ball into the chute. So they'll attempt to pick it up with a mechanical claw and drop it in at just the right spot. But their launcher may have too much topspin to control the ball. I found a wheel that we might be able to use. Oh, that's perfect. That's a critical part, Jeff. Good. Okay, so the Jet Doctors have a wheel for their ball launcher, but they still need to find a way to power it. Is kind of motor to run that thing, a gasoline power? Yeah, keep an eye out. Uh, a motorcycle engine or even a, like a lawnmower engine. It'll be a long day looking for something that doesn't exist again. <laughs> the High Flyers golf machine motor won't do them any good if they don't find an extra axle to swing their club. We put the sprocket right on that guy. That's what we've been looking for. So Bob is hoping to make do with his latest discovery. Should we set the axle yep. up there yep. just kind of get, right, get a feeling for where we're going with it? A good fit. Now they can concentrate on making it swing their golf club. Professionals in the world of golf have been using machines for decades. In 1967, the True Temper Company created Iron Byron, the first robotic golf club swinger, to test their equipment's accuracy. The ideal judge for this pitch and putt final is Frank Garrett. In between rounds on the golf course, he runs the research and development arm of Wilson Golf. He's designed all sorts of high-tech sports equipment, including clubs and balls. Frank is well qualified to be a judge in the junkyard. He restored his first old Mustang at the age of 12. That was good. Welcome aboard. Have thank you, seat. thank you. Make yourself comfy. Let's take a look at our two teams. We've got two best teams that we've got on Junkyard Wars this season. The High Flyers, the Jet Doctors, and they're both making radically different machines. It's a great contrast when we look at what's important in golf and the way these guys are attacking this. Okay, let's talk about the Jet Doctors. Right. And so the problem that they're going to run into with their design is that the ball's going to come out in a motion that really dives. And the ball's going to hit and, and skip like crazy because of that top spin. Yeah. So they're kind of in uncharted territory. Well, the High Flyers are building a machine that's pretty much what you'd consider a classic golfing machine. It's hitting a golf ball with something like a club. I think it's not going to be as accurate, and the fairways on this course are tight. And that's going to be a tough challenge for them. Where would you put your money if you had to choose one of these machines to win the whole thing? Right now, I'm going to go with the High Flyers. Really? Why do you go with the High Flyers? You know, golf is a funny game. As, as much as people want to make great scores, they also want to see the ball go far. Yeah. So I think it's just going to hit the ball a lot farther. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start collecting some uh, bicycle parts and miscellaneous. Jet Dr. Jeff is filling his team's prescription for claw components, but he'd better get a move on. All right, listen up, teams. Welcome to the 6T. You have six hours remaining. Whoa, this is your yeah. six hour time six check. Hours. We're doing good. Wow, we're back at working. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing. Kimrick and Captain Kirk are scanning their team's minivan for life signs. If it doesn't start up, they'll be golfing nowhere fast. Yeah, good. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's start it. All right, see if it starts up. Okay. All right, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Well, now that it runs, why not rip it apart? The door, door is ajar. I think we need to X the roof. After the battle to bring this vehicle in, Thomas got a score to set. But this is one minivan that's not going down without a fight. Oh! <laughs> it's even hitting below the belt. And in its desperation, this family truckster tries offering up a bribe. Hey, look, who said the junkyard never pays? But in the end, man is mightier than machine. And Thomas showed this bus who's boss. I've always wanted a convertible van. Let's try to start this baby up and see what happens. The high flyers are about to find out if their Jeep can handle the job. Where's the fire extinguisher? Is he clear up there? Clear. Whoa! Oh. Hey! Hey! <laughs> it's working! You got liability insurance card. All right, just All in right. case. The high flyers hope to hit the ball by connecting their motorcycle engine to a car's axle, which will spin the club. So they're attaching a sprocket for the motorcycle's chain drive to the center of the axle. And all of their hopes are pinned on this salvaged bike motor. 
third build, and we thought we'd make this real easy on, you know, a nice day of golfing. And yet, you find a way to make it difficult for yourselves. <laughs> we have searched our entire inventory. This is our finest model. Our finest oh, model. are you guys in a lot of trouble. Yeah, Holy well. smokes, this is the best you can find. It doesn't look so great, but we're going to just take a chance. We're going to mount it. If it doesn't start, we've lost some time. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> It's been there a while. The jet doctors are losing time looking for their motor. They haven't come across one they can use in their golf ball pitching machine. Yeah, the carburetor's gone. It's not something I can make. Yeah, so unfortunately that's toast. But in the junkyard, yeah. things are always darkest before the dawn. Yeah, we found the uh, little gas motor. Looks like it was uh, for a pressure washer, perhaps. Put it anywhere, Tama. Oh. oh, this is nice. Is it? At least expert Kimrick won't have to work too hard to try out their new toy. Oh, don't look at that. Well, that kind of caught me off guard. I wasn't even expecting it to start. Tyler, when you see the high flyers out in the course, you're going to see a man riding on the hood, firing off an arm which is attached to a smaller engine and a wheel, uh, an axle. It, it's going to be crazy. Sounds like one of Ed's post-election win parties, actually. <laughs> Jet doctors are... Um, They've got an interesting idea. They're, you know, have you ever seen a baseball pitching machine? Of course. Well, that is their idea. How do they get the ball, though? Well, they're going to build the claw, and they're going to get the claw, and they're going to pick the ball up and then maneuver it into the, into the hopper, <laughs> straight through, down the fairway. It's going to be a tricky thing to figure out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm willing to take the chance, only because it looks to me like it's going to run. That doesn't always mean it will, but... Despite his team's objections, Governor Ed is still pushing to mount their motor before they test it. I mean, it's a two-stroke engine. There's not, a whole, you know, there's not a whole lot of things that can go wrong with it. Famous last words. Yeah, I'm thinking it'd just be further away from the sprocket a little bit. Ed's made his ruling, but it won't stop Rolf from worrying. I sure hope this works. I still have some concerns about whether or not uh, we're going to be able to generate enough speed uh, with this engine. It's too late to agonize over that now. Their untested golf machine motor is already being added to their Jeep. Across the wall, expert Kimrick is busy assembling the Jet Doctor's ball-grabbing claw. Well, that always hurt going to my neck. It can clamp, it just won't let go. I don't know about this ball picking up thing. Yeah, I gotta have an easy way to do this. Kimrick's claw is taking forever to finish and their pitching machine is still grounded. Their golf club motor is mounted, but the high flyers are having trouble with their chain drive. No, 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 that would not be good. One. It's that one. They've welded in their motor in exactly the wrong place. So now their chain is half a link too long. That's not gonna do us any good. It'll fall out, it's going to rip right off there. Ed's rush to attach their motor is going to cost them valuable time. We're heading for the back nine, and things are just starting to get interesting. Who's going to get stuck in the rough, and who's going to have a straight shot at the pin? Stick around and find out. This TLC program is sponsored in part by Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. Okay, sweetie, bye-bye. Can you check on my flight, please? Sure. Call team. Hey, Vanessa, have you finished my brother's birthday card yet? Have now. Now at Radio Shack, find great deals on unique gifts for mom, like this easy-to-use Palms IR PDA, just $99.99. Or tell her how much you love her with this talking picture frame, just $9.99. How do you always have the answers to everybody's questions? Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. Maybe I, I don't own a fancy building or a big shipping department yet. But Brown still takes my business seriously. I can print labels, track shipments, order a pickup right from here. And with the time I save, I can build my business. Maybe I'm not exactly part of the limousine set. But I have a driver. Small business shipping. Synchronized. UPS. What can Brown do for you? the Saturn Ion Quad Coupe, specifically designed and engineered for whatever's next. How about something with a pool? A hunting lodge. Kids will love that.
about something with a pool? Lots of photos and everything else you need to choose the hotel that's right for you. Expedia.com The beach is as hot as it gets. So whatever it takes, grab a seat for Beach Week with your host, Ali Landry. Starting tonight at 8, only on the Travel Channel. On the next Trading Spaces, Bird creates a leather love nest and Genevieve goes muy gaucho. Sweet. Then in an all new episode at 9, Hildy's studio room is a Paris triumph. Trading Spaces, Saturday starting at 8 on TLC. Ever wanted to be a junkyard warrior? Well, now's your chance. Competition is breaking out of the junkyard and coming to a city near you to give you a chance to get into the action. Build your own junkyard machine and compete head-to-head -head for prizes on the Gravity Crash Course. Go to TLC.com for tour locations and more. TLC's Junkyard Wars on the Road, coming soon to a city near you, brought to you by Radio Shack. to the Junkyard Wars final, where two top teams are trying to make golfers from garbage in just 10 hours. The Jet Doctors, a gang of airline mechanics, are building a golf ball pitching machine on the side of their minivan. I have some new material I have to cut up, and I've cut that loose still. The high flyers of North Dakota have mounted their motorcycle engine to an axle on the front of their Jeep, and in their rush to finish... We put it up there, we mounted, we welded it all in. They realize the chain that drives their golf club is half a link too long. You've got that welded down solid, right? It's welded in there pretty good. Okay. And they have no way of removing only half a link. Cool. Luckily, they brought Bob along, and he's got a practical solution. If we can adjust the tension on and then just tighten the bolt oh, up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like huh? By welding a metal rod in just the right spot, they'll bend the chain in its path, forcing it to remain taut. Oh, son of I felt that. Huh? I felt the juice go through my hand. Yes. Rolf, talk to me. Yes. What's going on? Compared to the other two builds, we appear yeah. to be way ahead of the game, and that's frightening because. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that really, that, that, that scares me. That I think means it we're brings missing something, right? A little <laughs> bit of complacency that uh, isn't a good thing. Uh, in the other builds, at this point, we were absolutely panicked, and you know, we got miles to ride here too. Golf clap. <laughs> okay, fire The Jet Doctors have two plans for coming in under par. <sighs> for the long drives, they're building a golf ball pitching machine. It would nail me right here. You might tow it out like just about. Just right yeah, that's good. That'll clear. And check out how they're going to get the ball into the pitcher. Here's our little claw. We still have a little tweaking to do with the mechanism. We're going to drop the, drop the claw over the ball. Okay. It's going to close up on the ball. We'll lift the ball up we'll, and we'll... Uh, Put it over our shooting mechanism and drop it in. Now, what about your putter? We, uh, Jeff and Tom are both working on the putter. They'll have it done. You guys know what you're doing up here? We think. All right. The high flyers need a putter of their own, so Bob scrambles his team's number one scrounger. Remember that one wheel we found with a single axle? Yeah. That'd be a lot easier to want to weld on than that one you picked up there. Did you remember where that's at? Uh, I might know where right where it is. Well, here. So high flyer Rolf is sent circling in search of a suitable wheel. I think I have the wheel you're talking about. I'm bringing it up. Good job, Rolf. You know that. Junkyard like the back of your hand. Yeah. Bob's cutting out the hub to give their putter a way to pivot. How's this for our putter? Yeah, that's good. Our putter and our whacker. Yeah. What about the use of the material that we have uh, left over? We should over? have plenty. Okay. Jet doctors Jeff and Tama are placing their putter. While expert Kimrick continues to concentrate right. on their claw. Here we go. They finally pieced it together and are putting their putter to the test. Yeah, that'd be good. Do we need any more critical parts out in the yard right now? Yep. The high flyers are sinking fast. They still need to figure out a way to control their golf ball whacking motor. Get the chair mounted. If it all works, we'll cut the cable down and re-weld it on. They'd like to attach emergency brakes from cars to control the golf machine's motor, but they're one short. I'm going out to get another emergency brake lever.
I smell rubber, rubber burning. What's that? As they wow. say, where there's smoke, there's a fire. Fire? Yep. Fire. Fire, guys, in the... Uh, in, uh... Yeah, hike us out. Two hours remaining, Two teams. hours. This is your two-hour oh, time man. check. We're, we're starting to fall behind here. All right. Here we go. All right, Kimrick, is this thing going to work? Uh, it seems like it. We've kind of done some little preliminary tests. And, uh, well, here you go. Oh, what a drive. Of course, it'll be spinning much, much faster than that. So here is the claw, right? Yeah. May, may I? Um, I think the, there's a little piece that seems to have come off of it. Uh -oh. that have to. It so all it has to do is lift the ball, like, about three feet. That's its only task. Okay. And for three feet, you spent four An hours. An excessive amount of time. How's your frustration level? It's, it's up there. <laughs> what are yeah. you mostly worried about? Uh, finishing. Yeah. Finishing. Finishing is also a problem for the high flyers. They have committed a major junkyard war crime. There's less than two hours remaining, and they haven't even tested their golf machine's motor. Let's do a little test shot. All right. Contact. Well, the question is, why doesn't it go? Things are in motion for the jet doctor. Actually, that's perfect. Be open at the top so you can feed it in. That's exactly what I was going to do. They're finally mounting their launcher's motor. The motor's got to move in, though, because it's rubbing on the tire a bit. Well, it's okay if it rubs on the tire a little. But business is still bad for the high flyers. Well, there's no reason why this thing shouldn't start. Go cool. Their unresponsive golf machine motor just won't turn over. Shoot. Come on. See if it goes in the bin. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Frantic building now in the last little stretch. It is. It is. And I think there's uh, there's a lot of work to do. But I think the high flyers have chosen a club design that's gonna give them some problems. I'm still concerned about the stiffness of that shaft and the way they've designed their club. How about the jet doctors? I'm not real impressed with the jet doctors putter though. Really? What is that? It's flimsy. If you look at the design, it's a very thin piece of metal. I spoke to Kirk and Kimrick of the Jet Doctors, and I asked them about, you know, in the hopper system. We, remember, we were talking about topspin. There's going to be a lot of topspin on that ball. And they don't seem overly concerned with that. They haven't seen the golf course. <laughs> right. So who's your money on? I've seen the way you abuse judges who are not consistent. <laughs> so I am going to stick with the high flyers. Because? Because of their putter. Hi, Flyers. You getting this started? Karen, what a nice time for you to show up. What happened? We don't know. It has gas, it has spark. Um, it should be running, that isn't. What are you trying to do? I mean, what, what's your first guess as to what to fix? The way we welded it on here, we're only getting about half of a push with our starter level here. Right, right. So we're going to try moving this forward on the shaft to see if we can get a stronger pull to it to right. get it started. Somehow we have to get a longer stroke on our kickstart. Mm -hmm. High Flyers, Jet Doctors, 30 minutes, teams. 30 minutes now. Oh, man. 30 minutes? Can we drill a hole in the roof, stick it in, then weld it? Uh, <laughs> whatever you want. Where are we? Are you done? Hey, everything's in place. We're just doing a little fine tuning. I want proof. <laughs> you want proof, OK. The claw works, it drops into the hopper, and it fires. I want the engine, I want it all. There we go. Now How far out did it go? They shot it into the wall. Oh. Ten minutes, teams. This is your ten-minute time check. Ten minutes. ten minutes. Ten minutes. We need ten hours. The high flyers are feeling desperate. And the jet doctors still have one thing left to deal with. Uh, do you have an ace? Nope. Go fish. Oh, no. You have to start and back again. You got pressure. You have a three? Yes. Yeah, well, well, I mean, I, you hear the guys in the back? They're still working. And we're all done. What I like is that the jet doctors are cleaning their bay. Always nice to have a clean team. <laughs> Time to count down. Here we go. In five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. Tools down. Thomas, step away from the broom. <laughs> Put your tools down. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah. How about a nice golf clap? 
So, will the High Flyers get their motor started and eagle their way to the championship in their junkyard Jeep with its front-mounted mechanical club? Or will the Jet Doctors drive to victory in their modified minivan and its powerful pitching machine? The fairway final is next. This TLC program is sponsored in part by when you want protection inside and out, you want the Prestone family. She's a real beauty. Well, I tell you, it'd be a shame if something would have happened to her. What could happen? What could happen? What could happen? Things. Things? Things. You might want to think about getting some protection. If you want protection, you want the Prestone family and the three rainstorm durability of Prestone Tire Shine. Smart dog. Lucky dog. Prestone protection inside and out. Somewhere, a manager needs someone to deliver a 12-ounce sirloin and a slab of baby backs to the couple at table five. Chop, chop. Nearby, a friendly server needs a good job. That's where we come in. Employers call 888-MONSTER, post your job, and find the right person for it. Because now, blue collar, white collar, no collar. Monster works for everybody. Hello? Listen up. Who's this? I'm you in the future. You're what? I'm you, so just listen, okay? First, do not take that job in Boston. What job? You'll see. Second, buy the Passat. The Passat? Yeah, trust me. It's one decision you'll be happy with when you become me. Oh, one more thing. When you meet Becky, run. The Volkswagen Passat. It's well-equipped, elegantly designed, and now more affordable than ever. See your dealer today. You'll thank yourself later. What's the party for? We just finished our Active Directory rollout. We created a single AD forest and consolidated 70 domains to four. With group policy, new Salesforce apps deploy in a day instead of weeks. It's gonna save us over $2 million a year. With new Windows Server 2003, you can do more with less. And slide. Friday, renowned Egyptologist Vasil Dobrev hears voices of the past, buried for over 4,000 years. A story of intrigue, deceit, and power resurfaces from the sand as voices from the past speak again. Quest for the Lost Pharaoh. Friday at 10 Eastern and Pacific. Only on the Discovery Channel. Step into a world where roads are a luxury and off-roading is encouraged. Extreme 4x4 is next. Then brace yourself for Mega Machines tonight on TLC. And for more online, go to discovery.com and click on TLC. Where do you get? Tell me, Carmichael, will you marry me? Melon's all set for a dream New York wedding. Except for one thing. Get your stubborn self down here and give me a divorce. Ooh, Einstein is because you've turned into some hoity-toity Yankee. Sometimes what you're looking for is right where you left it. You and I are in love with the same girl. Sweet home Alabama. People need a passport to come down here. Order it now on Blockbuster Pay-Per-View Movies. I love directtv.com. I can do all kinds of things in one convenient place, anytime, day or night. I can pay my bill, I can order programming packages, even pay-per-view movies. You've got to try it. It's really easy. In fact, I just ordered three romantic comedies. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, but they're my husband's favorite. Honey, who are you talking to? Welcome back to the Junkyard Wars Finals. The High Flyers and the Jet Doctors have spent 10 hours building off-road golfing machines out of junk. And now it's time to tee off on this, 
the Junkyard Wars Course of Death. We've created a magnificent three-hole course out here in the middle of nowhere. The machines will tackle each hole in turn, and the fewest number of strokes will win. Oh! The Junkyard Wars golf course is comprised of three harsh holes full of sand traps, dog legs, and rocks. The teams will have to pitch accurately because after teeing off, they're not allowed to touch the ball themselves. Everything must be done by the machines. If the ball lands in a position where they can't retrieve it, they'll get a penalty stroke. As usual, we're allowing our teams one hour to put the finishing touches on their Goliath golfing gizmos. The high flyers have a long list. Play, finish raising motorcycle and get that door off over there. But most importantly, they've got to get their golf machine motor, which refused to start yesterday, up and running. If they don't, they'll be forced to use their manually powered putter instead. Did you get that engine started yet? Well, amazingly enough, uh, we figured, though, since we went through everything and everything was working, so we cut the bike off and raised it up so we could get a full roll on the Kickstarter, and that seems to do it with this high compression engine. Very nice. Let's try it out. Give Sean a couple of goes at this, and then... Almost. I know. Almost. All right, we'll have it running by the time we tee off. Okay. So while the high flyers flounder, the jet doctors are at cruising speed. What have you been fixing on the Delta Duster in your last moments of tinker time? Building some safety cages, um, working on the uh, delivery system of the ball. Fix the windshield wipers. What is that, a five iron? I believe so. Nice. I thought it would be the best iron for the job. Frank, we're in uncharted territory here. Junkyard golf, it's a first. <laughs> so uh, let's look at the jet doctors. I think what you're going to find is the jet doctors ball flight is going to be lower, and it's going to come out, and it's going to dive. And if they keep it on the fairway, and it bounds along, they're going to get an advantage. Overall, the high flyers, happy, not happy? Uh, I think their club is still problematic. They really should have had a more yeah. substantial shaft, and they are going to have the less accurate machine. How about the putter for the high flyers? It's fixed to the axis of the vehicle. Yeah. So if they line up the car wrong, they're not correct. Yeah, no, no luck. Where do you put your money? Do you go with the high flyers, or do you go with the jet doctors? I have to go with the uh, jet doctors at this point. You're changing. I am. Right before my eyes, you're changing I your am. mind. I think their approach is uh, much bolder, okay. and I think it's much more fun. It's time to tee off on our off-road golf course. The first hole has a sand trap to the right, a bit of brush to the left, and a slightly secluded green. Hole number one is a par three, which means they should be able to sink their ball in three strokes or less. Now that's a hole. The Jet Doctors have won the pre-game tee toss. We're going to choose second. So the High Flyers are up first, golfing into the great unknown. Oh, just the right place, Ralph. Yeah. But first, they've got to get their golfing machine motor to turn over. You want to do it, Ed? Go, oh, go for All it. Right. I don't Their engine is running. Let's just hope they can keep it together. Oh, when they've gas lost their tank. gas tank. A quick fix, and the high flyers are ready to roll. Tyler to Karen, get that flag up. It's the first shot for the high flyers. High flyers, are you ready? Yeah. You may now be off. A clean hit, and they shoot a little to the left. Good distance. They're halfway to the hole. The high flyers are barreling down the fairway towards their second stroke. And they're reasonably out in the open. They have a pretty good chance for their next shot. I think they're in great shape. And now Bob's beginning his ball launching ballet. What's Bob doing with that metal bar? What is now, that all about? They have figured out a sighting device so that they can orient the machine. And if the driver lines up the pin, that bar, and his sight, right. they're in position and they're Excellent. online. Tyler looks like they've lined up the shot and they are ready to take it. Oh. Nice! Beautiful shot! Ooh. Oh! Yeah, nice trip. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. They're two strokes in and looking good. Okay, here come the high flyers. Oh, they're definitely in putting range from that distance. They hope this is the final shot on this hole. Ooh, oh, not enough juice. Okay. Yeah. They weren't able to get it over the sand and then onto the green, so they're about to take their fourth shot. All right. They finally reached the green. From the hole. Yes, yes, yes. All right. 
If Ed can maneuver that Jeep just right, it should be an easy shot. Bob has got the putter in position. Here's the shot. Oh! Oh, and he left it short. Unfortunately, just missed the hole by a bit. He's basically an inch away now. Oh, it's gonna be yeah. only six shots for the high flyers if they get it in on this next one. Hey, what was that? Hey. That is a hole for the high flyers. Yeah. All right, and how many strokes? Well, it looked like six, but there was a, a slight little extra tap by the high flyers, so it's gonna be seven strokes on the first hole for the high flyers. Man. That's got it. Teeing off for the Jet Doctors, it's expert Kimrick and Captain Kirk. There you go, Kirk. Official Junkyard Wars golf ball. Thank you, Tama. Will their innovative design do the trick? Jet Doctors, are you ready for your first shot? Yes. You may now tee off. Here's the pitch. It's a line drive straight down the fairway. Ah. Nice. And the Jet Doctors are chasing their ball, hoping to sink it in under seven shots. Should we punt that? Uh, I don't think we can get it that far. All right. They're halfway to the green and about to premiere their ball-grabbing claw. Okay, wait, wait till we tell already. It actually works, but if they drop that ball, it'll count as a stroke. A little more speed. Oh, a solid shot right past the green. It's gonna go right through, hit the shrub. It's about another 10, 15 feet from the hole. They're closing in for the kill. I think we're going for the putter now. Going. We're still going. If the Jet Doctors sink this one, they'll win the hole with room to spare. Oh, no, that's very nice. Rolling. It's on the green. Karen, the Jet Doctors are on the green in three. They missed the putt, but they're still four shots ahead of the High Flyers. OK, respectable. So here they come over the top. Nice job. Go, go, go. Stop. They're inches away from winning this hole. Very close Ooh, to touching that ball. coordination there. It's for birdie. Yes! Oh. It's yeah! Woo-hoo-hoo! Hey, Karen, the Jet Doctors are in in four. It's a bogey! Yeah. Oh. All right. So the score is seven to four, and the Jet Doctors have a three-stroke lead. And it's not over yet. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Rolf. Oh. With the Jet Doctors in the lead by only three strokes, it's time for hole number two. This unholy hole has a landing strip on the left, complete with a crashed missile, some tough-looking rough on the right, and a bumpy fairway, all leading to a ghastly green. Hole number two is a par four. The boys in blue are totally focused. Can you see through those things? No, <laughs> but they look cool. <laughs> yeah. Tyler to Karen, you can start the high flyers on their second hole. You may now see off. There it goes. Nice shot. Oh, hit. Oh, 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 it's right into the oh. scrub. The high flyers' misdirected drive has put them more than halfway to the green, but they've ended up in some unruly rough. How about if you drive around and come through the bush and we'll try to putt on the fairway? That Jeep is just the thing for getting into those hard to reach places. They are just acting like the rough is not even there. Bob's being conservative, taking a chip shot to put them back on the fairway. Good. The roll, it's on the fairway. Yeah, okay. on the fairway. Nice. Right. There you go. Oh, nice. Right. A wise move, but that extra shot means a big decision. Want to use the putter or should we whack it with the big one? I think we better go with the hand. Attempting a putt that far is a gamble. Let's hope Bob has the muscle to make it to the green. Okay, we ready? Not good enough. They're good still on. 50 feet from the hole. I think we're in good shape. Yeah, I do. Here's the shot. Here it comes. Nice shot. Beautiful great shot. Game. Great yeah. golf shot. They're about 12 feet from the pin. It looks like pretty much a straight shot in as long as they can line that Jeep up properly. We got a flag up. Well, what happened? <laughs> Karen, they were looking at their fifth shot. Their wheel pushed a branch. The branch pushed the ball, and that means they're going to get a penalty oh. stroke. Oh. The pressure is on. There's a shot! They get six strokes, and they're back in the game. I need a ball. The Jet Doctor's machine performed well on the first hole, but this is an entirely different story. Everything needs to run smoothly. Uh-oh. The championship is on the line, and the Jet Doctors need to power up that engine or be forced to putt their way through. Will they make it? Stay tuned.
This TLC program is sponsored in part by Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. Okay, sweetie, bye-bye. Can you check on my flight, please? Sure. Call team. Now at Radio Shack, your wireless headquarters, get great deals on Mother's Day gifts for mom, like a Verizon wireless phone. This Samsung A310 is only $24.99 after a $25 Samsung mail-in rebate. That's a total savings of $75 after rebate. How do you always have the answers to everybody's questions? Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. For the best protection against water damage, one name says it all. Thompson's Water Seal, Wood Protector Plus Waterproofer for the highest level of water protection guarantee. Thompson's Water Seal and New Advance, the most powerful protection against water damage. Get in the zone, auto zone. If your car's got a dirty air filter, it's robbing your horsepower and killing your gas mileage. Get to AutoZone and replace your air filter today. Get in the zone. AutoZone. Stop. I'm not kidding. It's cool. It's science. Oh, that's not cool. Presenting Docker shirts with Stain Defender. Don't be the one without it. Listerine Pocket Pack Strips have the power to destroy over 99% of germs. To give you an incredible clean mouth feeling. Listerine Pocket Packs. Kill the germs. Feel the clean. This is a test. This is the big test. Right now at participating Honda dealers, you can join the big test ride. The world's biggest production motorcycles. Goldwing 1800. VTX 1800. And it just keeps getting bigger because you can ride off with low 6.9% APR financing. To find out more, just go to Honda.com and join the biggest test ride in motorcycle history. Step into a world where roads are a luxury and off-roading is encouraged. Extreme 4x4 is next. Then brace yourself for Mega Machines, tonight on TLC. And for more online, go to discovery.com and click on TLC. On the next While You Were Out, Kelsey sends her parents to Vegas so she can bring Hawaii into their bedroom. <laughs> then, Robin gets a backyard makeover that's straight out of Africa. Jolly good chef. <laughs> While You Were Out, Friday at 8, only on TLC. At 20,000 feet down, the human body doesn't stand a chance. If you want to pay a visit to the ocean floor, you better suit up. Get into the latest in cutting-edge deep-sea exploration when Extreme Machines goes underwater. From pressure suits that let us go deeper than we've ever gone before to submarines that move like sports cars. Dive in to Extreme Machines next Wednesday at 8 only on TLC. Ever wanted to be a junkyard warrior? Now's your chance. The competition is breaking out of the junkyard to give you a chance to get into the action. Go to TLC.com for locations and more. Junkyard Wars on the road coming soon to a city near you. Brought to you by Radio Shack. Welcome back to the Junkyard Wars Final, where our two teams are battling for the championship trophy by playing three holes of off-road golf. But the Jet Doctors are stuck on the runway, unable to start their motor before their turn at hole number two. The reason? Uh, no, the other way, Jeff. Yeah. Jeff was spinning the wheel in the opposite direction of the engine. Yeah, and yeah, now yeah. that they're both going the same way, Greg, it's time for tea. Tyler to Karen, the Jet Doctors can fire at will. Tia! It's a beautiful shot. Tyler, the Jet Doctors got a great bounce. The High Flyer's not happy to hear about that <laughs> at all. The green team is underway. Whoa, good grab. Tyler, we got a clean grab on the ball. And here's their second shot. Beautiful. That ball, it just has a nose for the hole. The Jet Doctors are parallel parking their minivan, hoping to pull even further ahead of the High Flyers. Putting is a funny part of this game. There's no guarantees. Yeah. There it goes. It's in. Oh, oh, beautiful oh, shot. No. The Jet Doctors just lipped the cup. It's going to be another shot for the Jet Doctors. Shot. It's in. It's, it's oh. in. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> With a score of 13 to 8, it's clear that Captain Kirk has set his putter on stun. Tough for the Flyers, man. Looking tough. Yeah, 
but the blue team isn't through yet. They know a good score on this next hole could turn this championship around. This third and final hole is the longest with a harrowing hairpin dog leg right in the middle. Hole number three is a par four. We're gonna try to cut the distance here, go off over this pile of brush, and hopefully save a couple of strokes that way. Instead of sticking to the fairway, the high flyers are taking a big risk by trying to take a shortcut. It's now or never, every shot counts. Tyler to Karen, the high flyers can start on hole number three. Tee off! A clean hit, but a messy landing. They fell short and landed in the rough. This is where that four-wheel drive comes in handy. Ed and Bob have their hands full, clearing a path for their next shot. They're ready to shoot. Oh, nice shot! Oh, nice guy. shot! Karen, looks like the high flyer has made a great shot. It's actually gone past the fairway. Nice. Well done. It's cleared the brush, and they have a good look at the green. With this smoky third shot, they may actually stay in the game. Oh, oh, oh. It looks like they let the brake off of their mechanism before they engage the clutch. That small operator error has cost them another penalty stroke. But they're pushing on. Here we go. Nice shot. Oh, right oh. into the barbed wire. Oh, it's through. Through. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. An excellent shot. They're just outside the green area. Bob and Ed have put the ball about 20 feet from the pin. They're setting up for their fifth shot. Everything they've accomplished this season is coming down to these last moments. A great putt. They're practically on top of the hole. Good shot. The high flyers are set up for what looks like it might be their final putt. And Here they can't afford to miss. Oh. oh, it just hits the lip and it rolls. Oh. Ah. These boys in blue cannot catch a break. Okay, stop right there. All right, Karen, the high flyers are back at it. Bob's in the, in the driver's seat. One final shot, hopefully, for the high flyers. Oh, it's yeah, in the back. hole! All right! Seven strokes for the high flyers Maybe. on hole Over number here. three. Tyler, I'm curious, though, has the governor demanded a recount yet of the strokes? <laughs> oh. <laughs> the high flyers have done their best with what they've built. Now it's time to see if the jet doctors can hold on. It's their last hole. They are comfortable 12 strokes ahead, but in this game, anything can happen. Everything appears to be going perfectly. Just look at this superior design. The claws working great. That pitching machine unstoppable. Their multi-directional putter is making mincemeat of that talented team from North Dakota. How many more times does he have to miss? Like nine or something yeah. like that? <laughs> All that's left is an easy putt that should put the Jet Doctors in the winner's circle. Kirk shoots. Oh! And he misses oh, the putt. He misses a two-foot putt! Keep going, turn right. Stop. Oh! No way! It was in the hole! It came right out! You're not gonna believe what just happened. The ball went in the hole. And it bounced out. Nuh-uh! <laughs> Carefully. Come on, come on. It's, oh. it's it! It's oh. it! Oh. So in the end, the Jet Doctors prevail Thank with a total you. of 16 strokes, four less than the High Flyers. Thank you. Thank you. Nice fun. Good game. Yeah, good job. We do have two teams here that really were winners, but unfortunately, only one can walk away with this trophy, and sadly, it's not going to be the High Flyers. Oh. No, no, but you guys did a great job. Let's hear it for the High Flyers! Sean! The top of the heap, they are the Jet Doctors! <laughs> the man with the plan, it's Kimrick! Kimrick! Nice job, Kimrick! Congrats! <laughs> what can you say about Jeff? Jeff! Yeah. <laughs> the man speaks for himself. Tama! <laughs> Captain Kirk! Yeah. Congratulations. The entire team, get on up here. Get yourself a trophy. We'll see you next season. Come on. Step into a world where roads are a luxury and off-roading is encouraged. Extreme 4x4 is next. 
Then brace yourself for Mega Machines, tonight on TLC. And for more online, go to discovery.com and click on TLC. Want to be a junkyard warrior? If you think you've got the junkyard skills, go to discovery.com and click on TLC to fill out an application and get on the show. Go to discovery.com and click on TLC to log on now.